teens today. I got a strike. <laughs> Claire, Naomi, and Caitlin are helping us roll out a test involving their favorite accessory, cell phones. Text away, Snapchat away, tweet your little fingers off. Their parents are going to hate us. We're letting their kids use up all the pricey data on their family share plans. While ladies start streaming, let's get this going. We want to know, will the cell phone providers let them rack up extra data charges without their parents' permission? Gutterball again, okay. <laughs> this mom says Belle sure will. We're in the Maritimes to hear a cell phone saga. I have a shocking story about my Belle bill. Rosemary Pick pays for the family cell phones. To keep an eye on the bill, she sold on a family share plan. She shares voice, text, and data with her husband and two kids. When her son goes over the monthly data limit, check out how much extra it costs. Over $1,700. Yep, you heard that right. Over $1,700. That's called a data overage charge. I was shocked at that and asked, you know, how could that happen? How could it happen? Rosemary thought government rules protected her from bill shock. How? Once you go $50 over, your data is blocked. To turn it back on, you have to approve, agree to pay the higher fees. Who approved it? It, it wasn't me. Her son approved it. Bao let him consent to those higher fees. She can't believe it and disputes the $1,700 charge. They shouldn't have allowed it to go over the dad over just without coming to me first. Rosemary pays the bills, so Bao says pay up. I was mad. I was pretty near in tears. I mean, you have other bills that are coming in and how I'll end up paying for it. Don't know. Bell credits back half the bill, but not good enough. Rosemary doesn't want to pay a dime. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Mohammed. So we hook her up with cell phone bill buster Mohammed Halaby. So at no point were you notified by any kind of message or any kind of warning? Not until I got the telephone call, and I was like, why'd you wait till it was 1700 to call me? <laughs> this is so frustrating. Your son, did he? advise you that he accepted the charges? You know, he's not even quite sure himself, or as I blamed him too at the time. I said, what are you doing? But I still stand by that shouldn't be able to be done. What was their response to you? So they just said, well, the other phone must have accepted the charges. I said, well, how is it that they're allowed to accept the charges? On the account holder, how can that be? That's what Mohammed wants to know. He can't believe Bell lets kids rack up big bills. Just, it's absurd. It, sh it shouldn't be allowed. Anyone with a family plan, you better, like, gather up your kids' phones and keep them tight to you. Not even this pro can help Rosemary. He says this is a case for the CCTS. They help customers settle disputes and oversee the government rules. We ask the CCTS to make a house call. Howard Maker is the commissioner for complaints for telecommunication services. He makes sure companies and customers know the rules. The wireless code of conduct says only individuals subscribing to the service can consent. When it comes to family share plans, who can consent to those data overages? So in my view, uh, and in the view of CCTS, uh, that's essentially the person who pays the freight. The person whose name is on the account pays the bill, the person who's paying the bill needs to be able to, to control and manage what's going on on that account. To data. To data. <laughs> going over. Back with our teen testers, who's paying the bills here? The parents, of course. Yeah, gotta be. Will the cell phone companies ask the parents or the teens for permission to rack off extra charges? It's tempting. Like, everything I do on my phone, it, like, pretty much involves data. So, like, I kind of melt without it. It's a precious commodity they must share with the family and conserve. Like with my, my dad will always get mad when I reach 90% of my data. 
Yeah, so it's just, it's always the same discussion about getting my phone taken away or, you know, controlling how much data I use. But no worries tonight, girls. They are dining out on all-you-can-eat data, thanks to us. Am I stupid for doing this? No. Who's the first to go over the limit? Oh, I got a text. What does it say? It's from Belle. Uh, so it says, to help you manage your mobile costs, we have temporarily blocked your data. To unblock and continue to use data, open your mobile browser and select accept. So what you gonna do? Uh, I'm going to accept to continue to go over my data. It was just one click of a button. And a teen confession. It's not the first time she's done this. I've done this before, and I would go on the internet and usually accept, yeah. The worst that I racked up was $300 over my data. I did get in quite a bit of trouble with my dad. That was a very big argument. <laughs> and friend Kyla, also with Belle, says she has too. Literally, every time we go over data, Kyla, you're going to lose your phone. Kyla, you're going to lose all your privileges. Moments later, Claire hits her limit too. I just got a text from TELUS to unblock data and accept further data charges. Reply yes to this message. It's cool, yeah, like that you can like keep going if you want to. But it's also like kind of not right in the sense that I was like, my mom's on paying it. I can just say, yeah, let's keep going, let's keep charging it up and no one else has to say anything. Bell and Talis let the teens keep charging it up. What about Rogers? I got a text message from Rogers. Yep, no problem. Rogers sends her mom the same text. But what is the point? Her daughter gets to accept the extra charges anyway. As for the Bell and Talis parents, not even notified. So we're notifying the commissioner. Minors were able to consent to these overages, consent to turning the data back on. It's a problem. I think I, it doesn't accord with our view of what the code requires uh, in letter or in spirit. It does not. It does not. Is that troubling to see that teens can do this? Well, I certainly wouldn't want my teens doing it. And it's costing folks money that they shouldn't have to spend. What's the penalty for these cell phone companies that are still doing this? What we can do is we can talk to the provider and try and get them to change their practices. We work with them, but we don't have authority to tell them how to do business. What's the point of the code if they can just do what they want then? Well, I, I don't think they can do what they want because anybody who has a problem with this should contact us, should file a complaint with us. Oh, my mom's calling me. This parent might soon be complaining about TELUS. Hey, monkey, what's happening? Claire confesses to going over. Mom had no idea. I'm very, I'm shocked. It's not cool at all. Like, why wouldn't they be texting the primary account holder to be like, are you okay with this? As the one who pays the bills, I wouldn't uh, give you that choice. You're a teenager, of course you're gonna say yes. <laughs> Mom has a message for TELUS. I would say, no, you need to change your, you need to be notifying me and letting me make the decision as the primary account holder. So they need to change their policy or their process? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And Guess what, parents? The big three won't come on camera. They think their policies are just fine. Believe it or not, even though the CCTS disagrees, nothing it can do about it. They are interpreting the code in a way that's different from the way we're interpreting the code. Um, there's nothing that prevents them from doing that. So what would it take to change the policy? Well, the only, uh, the only body that has the authority to tell service providers what to do is the regulator. That would be the CRTC. We're tracking them down next. Get the real deal. It's your marketplace. To data. To data. I'm over $10 now. Oh, yeah? The big three cell phone providers have let these teenagers rack up extra data charges without their parents' permission. Usually I do choose to go over. That shouldn't be allowed, says the CCTS. It oversees the government rules. It's a problem. I certainly wouldn't want my teens doing it. But Bell lets Rosemary's son go way over the data limit, and it costs a lot extra. $1,700, I mean, that's crazy. Who approved it? it? It wasn't me. 
The CCTS says only the account holder, the parent, can agree to extra data charges. Well, the cell phone providers disagree. So what does the CRTC say? We've been trying repeatedly to get the telecom cops to come on camera, but they refuse. Hey, Siri. Hey, Charlesy. Can you call the CRTC in Ottawa, please? We're trying one more time to get some answers. Please stay on the line to leave a voice message. Some companies do seem to be violating the wireless code of conduct. We'd like to know what you're going to do about it and what action you're going to take to make sure they're following the rules. The CRTC won't come on camera, but it agrees. Cell phone companies shouldn't let kids on family share plans approve extra charges. So far, though, hasn't done a thing about it. Hello? Hello. How are you? Meanwhile, Rosemary can't afford to wait for the CRTC. She's warning her friends. I just be careful with your family shared plans because you don't have any control over the other phones. OK. Oh so you don't want it happening oh. to you. You're stuck with it. Oh. And even though I didn't approve it, so I think it's gouging anyway myself to oh charge my gosh, that amount. Yeah. So why does it cost so much more? The amount for overages is really ridiculous. To find out, we go to the University of Waterloo. Hello, Professor Keshav. Professor Srinivasan Keshav is an expert in wireless technology. We show him Rosemary's bill. There's $1,700 in data overage charges there. It's quite a bit. They've consumed a lot of data, about 18 movies worth. Yep, watching 18 movies on your cell phone can cost $1,700. Works out to about 100 bucks a movie. That's the premium price Rosemary pays when her son goes over the data limit. A huge markup. How big of a price hike is that? Well, it's about a 650% hike. 650%? That's right. One might call this punitive. That's a lot. That's a lot. Does it cost that much more for the companies to deliver the data when you do go over your plan? No, it doesn't. So the cost is the same? The cost is the same to the provider. It's just what they choose to charge for it. And get this, in the last few years, those overage prices have been jacked way up from about $30 a movie to $100 a movie. And the question is, why? Prices are going down for almost everything in the technology world. It's not clear why these prices should be going up. Why is it that consumers aren't seeing that reduction in their bills over time? That's what everyone wants to know. I wish I could answer that, but I'm, a, I'm not an economist. Cell phone companies and any other company out there, they're not there for your benefit. They're there to make a profit. Let's get that straight. <laughs> we got it, Professor. Here's a fun fact. Total revenue for the big three in 2015 more than $20 billion. Another fun fact, we pay some of the highest prices in the world for data. There should be much more reasonable cell phone charges in Canada, maybe a little bit more competition. There's always better pricing when there's competition. Rosemary's found a way to end her bill shock. She left Bell for a cheaper provider who blocks data to her kids' phones for free. <laughs> Claire's mom has another solution to end her daughter's data damage. You know. This time next year, you'll be paying your own bill, so maybe you'll think about it. OK, well, um, I mean, you know, next year, I'll still be in your house. You will? Want your money back? Find out how to complain to the CCTS at cbc.ca slash marketplace.